I just listened to the Taliban spokesperson speak with a an anchor from BBC, the British Broadcast Channel, and what he said is that um, women are going to have the have rights still, and um, that women are going to be allowed to have educations, and that um, they want everything to be peaceful and fine. And um, he also said that they are going to continue. They're going to return to Sharia uh, law, right? Um, like the they're they're going to return to Islamic law. Um, so um, what Islamic law is is that women don't have equal rights. Um, for example, in inheritance, uh, women do not have the same rights um, as men. So a woman should not inherit as much from her parents as a man. And um, I feel like no matter what. Um, the Taliban does in Afghanistan um, women are not going to have equal rights no matter what because culturally women do not have equal rights in Afghanistan and I feel like for the Taliban when they hear me talk about how gay people aren't going to have rights under um, the Taliban what they think is uh, gay people don't have the rights <laughs> under the democracy in Afghanistan right now I promise it doesn't matter if you think that um, it, it doesn't matter if we decide that gay people have equal rights they don't have equal rights <laughs> unless you like unless you really made it law and um, you caused a lot of conflict with your own people um, all I'm saying is that um, it sounds like Afghanistan isn't a country I want to live in um, and it also sounds like that the Taliban is going to basically give the Afghani people what they want which is Sharia and uh, even though they're going to find follow Sharia law, um, they're going to, um, uh, okay, so basically, like I said before, um, the average super duper Muslim in the Middle East and in, in Central Asia, or just the average Muslim, does believe that um, if the, their country had Sharia, Sharia, that, um, that if they followed Sharia law, um, that everything would be fine, like everything would be better because the reason that everything's messed up is because people aren't following God's laws. And if people would follow God's laws, then everything would be fine. But um, under the Taliban before, when they were following Sharia, um, it was like really violent and um, it wasn't as, as happy of a place. So I, I don't know what um, the Taliban thinks peace, like thinks that um, a good existence on earth is, but for me, uh, a good existence on earth is a, a place that doesn't destroy you um, just because you're different. And I, I think that like people that are different should be allowed to flourish. And one of the reasons the United States flourishes so much and we're such an incredible country is because we celebrate people who are different and we celebrate people who um, break the mold and um, create um, such weird art. All right, so um, all I'm saying is the Taliban seems like they're actually um, not going to be that bad, uh, but you never really know. Um, I feel like a lot of the time it's about who's in charge of the Taliban, like who are the leaders. And um, in the past, the leaders were um, pretty brutal to their people, and um, they did public violence. Like they would do, they would execute people in public and stuff like that, and um, they ruled through fear. And um, if you rule through fear, you're, you're not going to have a happy population. And so um, I don't know how it's possible for the Taliban to not rule through fear. Um, I feel like they didn't just conquer Kabul by fear, though. Um, they conquered Kabul by being better at politics than the Americans because everyone knows that the religious nuts are the best. And the Taliban did fight against the Americans, and they never gave up. And um, they have shown themselves to be brave heroes that defended their country. Um, so you never know what's going to happen. Um, I'd be I'd be curious to talk to the Taliban and see what they're actually thinking about um, what their country should look like going into the future.